Hello everyone, welcome to another video. What an exciting last few days it's been. We had the Animal Rights March here in London. Amazing, very exhilarating, check it out. Just so many like-minded people marching for animal liberation. Absolutely huge. Estimated around 10,000 people uh, participated in this march. 10,000 vegans, absolutely massive. But, there was one thing that was missing, and which, which I found really hard to believe myself, because I've actually been the target of mainstream media, and vegans have been targeted by mainstream media, and it was just very, very bizarre to me that when you actually, London Vegan March 2018, let's have a little look here, so we got the, you know, Let's just let's just let's just help it along and let's just say news because because where's the news here? We got uh, you know veggies.org newsflare.com. Let's see newsflare. I've never really I haven't really heard of that. Let's have a look newsflare newsflare. Okay, never really heard of this one. Never never actually heard of newsflare. But let's just keep going. Maybe maybe we'll see a massive huge. A huge one from the let's have a look let's just see the Guardian they must have they must have no no the army of first-time protesters getting getting ready to, to take on Trump okay so that that's got nothing to do with vegans let's just keep going through veg news veg news so veg, veg news did, did a little thing on it I'm, I'm not really seeing much in regards to the news this sh it should be all over the mainstream media where is it all where is it all? I mean, this is what I just don't understand. Like, we shut down the London streets. There was 10,000 of us. Like, oh my God. It was just like a free-for-all. The news could have had a field day there. Especially the sun. The sun love putting out the anti-vegan propaganda. The sun love putting out the anti-vegan propaganda. They smash up butchers, attack farmers, say milking a cow is the same as rape. Meet the vegan mafia. Well, the vegan mafia, we were marching right here. Look at us, right here, the vegan mafia. Wow, wow. You know what's really interesting? Violent hate campaign of militant vegans are targeting terrified farmers and butchers across the country. Farmers living fear with death threats from violent vegan activists. There we are, there he is, Joey Carvstrong and, and the crew down there. This is a Liverpool crew. Oh, violent. Farmers live in fear with death threats. Violent vegan activists, okay? Look how many of us there were here. Oh my god. Absolutely. Absolute. So many violent vegans. You would have thought. You know what? With so many violent vegans, you would have thought there was like at least one instance of violence. You, you would have seen a fight or something. I mean, not, every, not everyone even in the vegan community gets along. You would have thought there would have been like police report, oh, violent vegan um, attacks meat eater at restaurant or farmer attacked by violent vegans because of, you know, vegan march with 10,000. Not one instance of violence. Imagine that. There wasn't one fight. No police were assaulted. There wasn't no violent uprising. Sounds like a peaceful movement to me. And then you've got all these articles. Oh, the sun. You know what? You know why I, don't, I think they didn't. They didn't. They didn't feed into it. They didn't uh, report on it. It's because it doesn't fit their narrative of violent vegans, does it? That they want that. Oh, the vegan mafia. But it was a peaceful march. Ten thousand of us. If ten thousand of us marching through London doesn't cause violent outbursts anywhere, then it doesn't sound like a violent movement to me because there should have been at least one, one instance of violence. And very interesting, all the, uh, all the media are cucking into the shadows. Isn't that interesting? They're, they're quick to report on you know anti-vegan propaganda, but as soon as there's an uprising and 10,000 of us are marching through the streets of London, where are they? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Oh, what? Don't want to report on that, do you guys? Don't want to report on that, do you? Very, very interesting. Very. So that's well, that's mostly what I have to say about that. I mean, it was an amazing day. 
you know, vegans standing together for justice for animals. And it was really great to, to meet everyone and just an amazing day, an amazing day. But funny how the media don't really want to report on it. It's strange. They could have said, oh, you know, what, what actually, what could have they, what could they have said? <laughs> there was no instance of violence. It was a peaceful day. You know, they didn't leave any litter on the streets because vegans are, you know, they care about the environment. What? What? You know, I don't know. Very interesting what they choose to report on and what they don't. I mean, the vegan topic has been quite a hot one in the media, but they definitely didn't want to report this. So what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section down below. I don't know. I think it's quite suspicious, quite suspicious indeed. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Gotta make a change. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. And let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive. And still, I see no changes.